two, one. Hello and welcome to BC Radio. I'm Sean. I'm Jake. And it's 24th of October and we've got a great schedule lined up for you today. On the show today we're talking with two students who are currently up for the presidency of the Bridgewater College Student Union. We also have a story on Bridgewater Carnival. Stand up to cancer. And our brand new section of the show, SoundCloud Spotlight of the Week. And last of all, our new website. So I'm joined today with Shatawni and... B. How are you finding it? I'm fu- I'm finding it good, thank you. It's been really exciting. I've met like new people, so I'm liking it. The campaigns are going really well. Yesterday we had a, a co- sort of question time event run by the current members of the union where um, they had some questions planned to ask us and it was in the common room and people could drop in and just ask us what they wanted. So that, that was really good and you got to hear what sort of things the other people were planning and what sort of things, ideas we'd all want to implement. So that was really good. So what else is going on? How's your Facebook campaigns going? Yeah, I've been spamming all over Facebook, <laughs> sending <laughs> links. Yeah, I got groups and likes and everything, so it's going. So you got going a lot well. of likes going on. Yeah, I got yeah. quite a few likes going on. People that don't even go to the college, I'm like, like my page. <laughs> <laughs> so they've been liking it and telling all their college friends. So, so have you had people running up to you saying, "I voted for you"? Yeah, you? there's there's like a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, all over Facebook, but in college, you get people coming up to you say, "Oh, I voted for you." Like, I've been looking at the page. And like it's just about getting the word out because sometimes the turnout isn't great for like college voting. But as long as you sort of let as many people know about it, they'll be more inclined to vote. Yeah. So have you used any tactics to try and get any vote in, like giving out sweets or anything like that? Um, I I mm. originally was considering the sweets thing, but then I I sort of I felt a bit uncomfortable with doing people. it. I'm yeah. Doing it, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's just like I don't like the whole. I feel like I'm bribing people yeah. thing. <laughs> so I was like, it's, it's best, you know. I'll just go with the posters and get so, talk to people nicely. So Sean, we might have to try and do that. Bribe people mm. to come and listen oh to the God, show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sweets. Give out sweets. <laughs> that would be a good idea, yeah. wouldn't it? Um, so you finding it all fun then? Are you enjoying it all? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's it's quite competitive. But not not in a in a bad way. And think everyone's really sort of pretty much getting just getting on with their own campaigns. I mean, it's it's good because you're meeting new people. And I mean, yeah, it's, it is going well. So we've got some questions for you. I'm gonna put you on the spot a bit. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sean, do you want to start the questions? Um, yeah. So um, we want to know what can you bring to the college if you are actually elected as president. Okay, well, um, I've been a member of the, the youth parliament for the last couple of years. I was the member for North Somerset, and I'm going to be going to the House of Commons soon to debate on issues which matter to young people. And I think that I would be able to um, represent the ideas which are put forward and things which a- any student said to me, I would be able to take those forward. Obviously, everyone's going to have a different opinion, but I think that if, if I became president, then I would have a lot of interested in new things to bring to the union and that's why I think you should vote for me. <laughs> yeah, um, well, I think I'm confident. I'm really easy going. I think people can talk to me easily and they know that like I've got a friendly face, I say, or a listening face. And I think I can bring loads of new ideas and I do know like a quite a wide variety of people so I get to hear a wide variety of answers. And I was buddying and I've done loads of fundraising stuff with Kenya in our last school. And in our last school, we were the ones who were actually elected to go to um, the House of Parliament for the Votes at 16 movement. So we got to do fun stuff like that. So that's why you should vote for me. That's really good. And um, I've got a question for you now. What is your most key change you want to happen? So what is your like pinnacle point of your campaign? Well, there's, there's a few different things that, that I would place. One of the main things, I mean, before I started my campaign, I was sort of going around talking to people, seeing what sort of things that people would want changed. Um, the sort of things that were coming up were, were typically things about, um, like, in the canteen, seating, um, sheltered areas outside for people to sit, this sort of thing. And I think that's, that's all really important. Also, a really key thing is, like, more clubs and societies and things going on in college. Like, there's a lot of things people have suggested, like extra sort of beginner level languages that people perhaps don't have time to do on their course or just sort of a new variety of things like sort of um, like self-defense classes was a suggestion for some people just sort of a wider range of things being introduced and people just having the opportunity to do more things and get involved with the campaigns with the student union because the student union do so many but I think a lot of the time they're not sort of publicized until the week before or people don't don't have a lot of opportunity to find out about them. But if we get more people involved with that, then that would be really great. So. Yeah, I think I've had like people coming at me like, 
oh, if you get in, I've got this idea and that idea. And one one of mine I've actually noticed recently is that like there's no recycling or just any green resources in the college. Really? I've, not, I've not seen a single recycling bin. And it's just... Think there isn't, actually there like, isn't no, any no, recycling yeah. bins, no. <laughs> and it's just little things like that that you can change. And there are like, are more clubs and stuff I'd want to bring in like warhammer club because people have actually asked me for that <laughs> really <laughs> yeah and like zumba and i think it's stuff like that that people want but they don't really ask for and i think that's like my advantage i'm not afraid to stand for something even if i'm standing alone yeah that's really yeah. different yeah, isn't it it is yeah. very different, different. Um, so yeah um what does student voice mean to you and how are you going to facilitate it do you want to go oh I oh, I think the student voice to me is really getting yourself heard. I have I'm one of those people that when I have something to say I kind of go for it and I just like when it comes to my head I've got to say it. But the student voice is really getting a wide range of voices and thoughts and opinions because obviously not everyone's the same. Everyone has a different college experience. Some people love it, some people hate it and it's kind of get into the core of that and really students banding together because some people think oh students they've got it so easy they've got this they've got that one actually like being a student can be really hard sometimes um student voice you know for me it's all about making sure that everyone gets heard because some people you know some people just really put themselves forward for all sorts of things in college and some people are just sort of just there in the background just getting on with their studies but it's about getting that sort of, like you said, a wide variety about everyone's opinions. Like, so make sure no one gets left behind. Like, I wouldn't be afraid to come forward and put forward views f- from anyone who came came and said something to me. It wouldn't just be the people who perhaps who have said things the most times or whose voices were the loudest. But you know, who's having those really constructive ideas? And obviously, it's important to get some, to get things which work for everyone in the college because obviously, it's all about the students. Yeah, that's really good. Um, but how can you make sure that our lecturers are listening to our views? Um, well, obviously, the the relationship between lecturers and um, students is a is a really big thing, and it's important to have that that good working relationship so you can get the best out of your education while you're here. To to work with the lecturers more, I think that it it's good it's a good idea for the students to sort of have so you know not not necessarily one on one sessions, but to have some sort of feedback thing going with the lecturers so you know what sort of things you're enjoying in your lessons, yeah. what sort of things you think would be. Could you could make improvements on? But you know, how could you personally help students make sure that they're talking with their lecturers, and getting their point across? Yeah, I mean, I think focus groups would be a, would be a good thing to to sort of think about. Like if the, if um, I got on the union, then I would perhaps try and get involve the union members into in starting up perhaps little groups where um, lecturers and sort of students who who had something they wanted to talk about to. Um, talk through things which should be done differently in lessons or which were working particularly well and I would like to think that all the students who who would want something changed or would want to say anything wouldn't be afraid to come forward and speak to me about anything they'd like to do like that. Yeah I really agree it is all about maybe sometimes when the students are in groups they can't they don't feel like their voice is being heard and if they want something changed about their classes they don't feel like they can talk about it so it is kind of a kind of a divide and conquer like get Again, smaller groups really focusing in about what they're learning, what they like and what they don't like. And it's really, I think the tutors are really, and the lecturers are really keen for that as well, because I've recently got closer to my tutor and she's like, she teaches people um, in America and Spain and France just over the internet. And um, one of my other lecturers told me about how she was Jeremy Cole's um, bank manager the other day. <laughs> so I really do think it is about building those relationships, really, and getting to know them and getting to know you, and they'll learn your your learning styles, and then you know how to work with them, and that's really the way I do it. Yeah. So if you've got a really, you know, not very confident student, sell yourself to us, tell us why you, they can approach you. You can approach me because you can pretty much say anything to me. You can come to me quietly, you can shout in my face, um, and I will listen to you. Um, on my poster, I put, let me be your Barack Obama. <laughs> and I really think that's just because it just shows how like open-minded I am. And I'm obviously like a louder person, more confident, but I also can see if someone needs someone just quiet to talk to and relaxed atmosphere I'm really relaxed as well so I can go really anyway so just come yeah. up yeah um I think that that I would or I would always be sort of available for any student who who had something they wanted to talk about to come and approach me you know I wouldn't I wouldn't think that any sh- I mean the union should be somewhere where you know every student is welcome it's not just for the union executives so if anyone can come in there and 
and have an input. It's not just about just about the people who are making the actual decisions. You know, we want ideas from everyone. For a student who perhaps wasn't as confident, I mean, I would always sort of be willing to, to speak to someone in, in private or just have, have a chat with someone when they need it. I mean, I think that I personally see myself as being one sort of more confident, outgoing people as well. But, you know, there's some things that, you know, obviously it's important to have, to have fun and to, to be doing things in a sort of light way, make sure that everything gets out to the college in that sort of positive way. You've got a positive light on campaigns that are going. But also, you know, when there's more serious issues, then it's important to take that into consideration. And I think that I would be able to handle that appropriately and speak to, speak to students in different ways, depending on the situation. That's really good. And um, we understand that elections go until the 26th. Yeah. yeah and all students true. can vote by going onto Blackboard. You will see BCSU, BCSU elections on the front page. So go ahead and check that out. Um, we'd like to thank you, actually. My mic wasn't turned on. Thank you, James. <laughs> <Sorry about that. laughs> We'd like to thank you for coming on the show. Um, we're going to go to a commercial break now. Okay, we'll thank you. Thanks, soon. guys. Thanks Bye. very much. Bye. Thank okay. oh, you. Thanks, guys, guys, coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so we've got 26 seconds. Here. Oh, All right. Good luck with the rest of the show. Yeah, we'll I'll, email email you when it's, I'll email you when it's done, okay? Right. Thank right. you. Bye. Bye. Right, so commercial break, so you got your script ready, yeah? Uh, yep. Right, so okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, are you going carnival this year? Oh, I don't know. I'm really not sure yet. Uh, Bridgewater Carnival's on the 3rd of November this year, and what an exciting year it's going to be. There's supposedly some of the best carts we're going to see throughout the whole of carnival history. Mm. Had a bit of a rhyme to it, didn't it? Also, we've got Rob back on the show, guys. Hello. <laughs> Rob, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Rob. Um, I'm currently studying on the FDA media practice at Bridgewater. Um, I'm new to the area. Uh, I originally come from Brighton, so uh, there's a lot for me to learn. And Rob's going to be one of our new presenters as well, so, um, yeah. Bridgewater Carnival. Um. You've never been here, have you? I haven't. You've it sounds, it so. sounds intriguing. It's the <laughs> biggest light festival in the whole of Europe, yeah. apparently. It is. It's really something. It's something you have to go definitely see once. I don't think I'd want to do like every year like most people do, but it's something it's you know you catch a lot yeah. of people. A lot of people I know are actually involved in it as well. See, because when you say light festival, you mean literally and light, light, light bulbs lit, lit like, up. It's like basically it's like a big float pulled by a tractor, and um, it's just like they have hundreds of light bulbs on them. Don't hundreds. They? I can't imagine what All the carbon colours. footprint's like. So, <laughs> must be huge. Um, and also, the, you know, you have people dancing on them, and the music is loud as well. They all have their own different themes. It sounds like a crazy dream I once had. It, it pretty much is like that, actually. It, it does. It it, 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 people like really happy little kids. You've got you know, them. you know the ones I find funny is the um, still ones, the still cards. Oh yeah, the but still all there, yeah, like None of them blink or anything. No. I don't know really? how they do it. Like, <laughs> Imagine if you needed to sneeze or something. And when you do, when you do see someone blink, everyone's like, "Hey!" Uh, <laughs> He's blinking. <laughs> While they're moving on a tractor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah completely. You just got a little harness well, on like, in there. Like this, like. Completely. Like, <laughs> That's fantastic. It's amazing. See, you don't get this. You don't get this down south. No, you don't get this <laughs> down south. No. The thing is, it's a it's a proper mix of um, social crowds as well. You've got the older yeah. people. You've got the drunks with the drinks. You know, <laughs> by the pubs go. As there the always is. So the pubs are always quite. Um, also, there's the. You know, the um, pubs are always quite happy with the money that's coming in. What's it um, called at the very end? The scribbing. Scribbing. Squibbing. Squib. Squibbing. I think it's called Squibbing. Squibbing. But yeah. basically, it's only the Bridgewater Carnival that does that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's only the Bridgewater. And it's like these big poles, and they've got like um, it's fireworks, fireworks just coming off, and they're like holding these poles. <laughs> that sounds exceedingly dangerous. It's crazy. <laughs> it looks a bit dangerous. <laughs> I was a bit scared. There's a little website as well, I think. I think it's probably BridgewaterCarnival.co.uk. Yeah, you should really check it out. Anyone check it out. You know, who hasn't gone should check it out. And also, you know, if you're involved, you know, get in contact with us. We wouldn't mind having you on the show, yeah. really. I mean, Bridget Carnival last year. Did you hear about the whole 25 pile up M5 disaster last year? It was a bit year? of a. Vaguely. Yeah, this is, that's what this happened last year. We had a lot of disasters last year, actually. Carnival was a bit Carnival. eventful last year. We had the wall Still. fall down. The wall uh, fall down. Bridget or Bridget, uh, um, Pond the, River Parrot wall uh, fall down. The whole wall? Half, Half of it. Some of it. Some of it. Yeah. <laughs> and they had to like, evacuate, didn't they? People yeah. put their houses and. So yeah, so, that down and then so Bridgewater Carnival is let's just say responsible it's not got a curse on itself. So <laughs> responsible no, no, no. for a lot of chaos. <laughs> but it wasn't responsible. It wasn't responsible, but it, it all happened on that night, so it was a bit oh, like okay. is this night cursed? Is it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, but, it's not as eventful this year. 
how many years has it gone on for? Is this oh, it's absolute years? I yes. don't personally know, but well, as long, I'm, as far I'm as 18 you can and it's happened ever since I've been born. Wow. So it's a lot older than that. So yeah, but like I said, apparently we're going to see like some of the best carnival floats ever. I'm sure I'll check it out. Because obviously they're using hydraulic stuff now and things are moving. Technology Actually, has moved have, on. Like, something like a dragon or something. I breathe, didn't go like not obviously <laughs> breathing real fire, but. Fireworks. Actually, no, they were breathing fire, weren't they? I didn't go. Didn't you? No. They, bre- they, they can just do everything. It's amazing. Um, but what I'm quite interested to see is, because obviously there was this whole thing with energy bulbs, you've got to use energy bulbs. Yeah, which of course take about an hour energy, to Are they going to use energy up. bulbs this year? I don't and you, you get you get like the the odd cut, isn't it? That's all the lights are gone, and everyone's like, "Hey, <laughs> sorry." We had, um, I one year I saw one cut where its music wasn't working, <laughs> and they were all just Aww. dancing around still. All dancing. It kind of sounds to me like the. Um, of course, in Brighton, there's gay pride, which happens <laughs> oh, a yeah. lot, and it kind of sounds like that parade, just with more light bulbs and <laughs> less people wearing skimpy costumes. Yeah, hundred hundred thousand people, I think, go to hundred thousand. I think it's some of that. Um, also, it's not maybe it's not that because that's quite bit, that's quite a lot of people for bridge work. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, easily doable. Maybe, easily maybe. easily doable. The, um, it's not just floats either. There's also you know you've got the majorettes and you've got the yeah, bands yeah. and. Yeah, there's loads. So they of make a whole so event out of it. You've got yeah. walking. Wa- there's got there's loads of different judging that type dress of. Up, don't they? Yeah. People who are walking and dressing up. Yeah, as well. and you've got loads of different type of judging categories. So like you've got the junior categories, and then you've got the senior yeah. categories, and then obviously the walking parade. They've got that type of stuff going on. So if so, you're going, remember to get your two peas out. Yeah, and also <laughs> I think it's called Gremlins. They're they're the Bridge Hill group, aren't they? I'm pretty sure um, the, the British group, and they always do so well. So look out for the Gremlins. The Gremlins. Because they always do amazing. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, so. so yeah, moving on now, um, Jake. Rob, Rob, what are you going to say? What are you going to tell us about our brand new, brand new input? Oh, uh, so um, we've got our uh, first ever SoundCloud Spotlight of the Week. But who is our first ever SoundCloud Artist of the Week, Rob? Um, I'll answer that one for you. It's Rhianne Hacker. She's 16 and she's from Brent Knoll. Uh, Rihanna didn't start promoting her own music <laughs> Rihanna. until about <laughs> Rihanna, <laughs> sorry, didn't start promoting her own music until about eight months ago. Um, she started off by covering music on YouTube, but started writing her own songs, and now focuses purely on originals. Something quite interesting is that Rihanna's lyrics are purely like mean something to her. So everything she writes, you know, they have a subliminal message or you know, personal meaning. So it's quite nice. Yeah, she she, um, she she wants to work on an EP as soon as possible. Um, she's already has the first draft uh, of her EP. She just needs to get herself in a studio to record it. Um, next on her list is um, actually looking to get a music video done for her latest single. Uh, Rian will be playing at the college party Ox Jam as well, raising money for charity. Ox, what's it called? What do you mean? Not o- Ox, Ox Jam. Uh, no, yeah. it is Ox Jam, but what's the charity called again? I don't know. <laughs> Oh no no the charity's gone. You know oh. it sounds like I can't remember now. Ox do. ox something. Oxfam. 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 Not Oxfam. <laughs> so difficult. How would I forget that? It's, it's literally one word, isn't it? It's yeah. Just an F one one letter. Yeah. One letter off. <laughs> no, no. no, I look stupid, don't I? The Oxfam and, um, Ox Jam. Yeah, it'll be Rianne's first ever gig. And afterwards, she's aiming to play a venue such as the Croft and the Fleece. Um, talking about her latest single, actually, we have it to play here right now. This is Rianne Hacker with Bandits and Thieves. Okay, well. <laughs> that was so funny. Sorry, it threw me off a bit because we didn't go to uh, stand up for cancer. Yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't we? No, no we'll that's what threw me off. We'll okay, yeah, stand up for cancer next. Like, okay. Yeah. Where is Stan at the cancer? Just after the carnival discussion. Okay. That's what threw me off, sorry. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 that's fine, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, that's me, that's my fault. That's fine, okay. So, next, Stan at the cancer, then yeah. website? We've got three minutes yet, so. Okay. If anyone wants a drink or whatever. Yeah. I know, I heard the machine starting up, that's why. Like, I hope it doesn't come up. A bit of laugh is always a good thing, I think. Ox fan. Cool, we're only at 20 minutes. Really? Yeah. Do you reckon we can get this to half hour? We can. That's what, that's our limit. That's a very big limit. Like, after half an hour, we can't go any further. Really? Why? Because that's the maximum it gives us. 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, so 
So right, minutes, really is when, when the song's out. over, how long are we going to have? We've got ten minutes. When the song's over, though. Okay, I haven't been done. Okay. We haven't got much to cover now. No. I'm going to give you the five minute signal, okay? That we... Should I say five four minutes, minutes is our wrap up? Oh, right. minutes. Three minutes is our wrap up? How'd you wrap up? Just wrap up literally. We're gonna to go to check out Bridgewater College yep. um, Academy. Okay. Um, yeah. So, stand up cancer website and the what was it, Alan wanted us to mention? Sorry. What was it, Alan wanted us to mention? Oh. Alan wanted us to mention something. Oh, media um, academy. Media academy. Yeah, no, I've got that written down. Yeah. Okay. So just let us be. Okay. She's a good writer, she's got loads of stuff. Good this lyrics. isn't just her type of type of music, she's oh, really? got all styles. So. That's good. I like I like I like a singer who's adaptable. Yes, for reason. <laughs> That's a really good track. Like the, mm. the lyrics are so well wrote. Yeah, the lyrics are great. So yeah, well done, Rianne. That's a really good track. So yeah, can we check on, her out yourself? Yeah, SoundCloud, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. So that's our SoundCloud artist of the week spot. So did any of you watch Channel Four Stand Up to Cancer? Yeah, I did. I honestly, I thought the whole event was really, really tastefully and well done. Um, the comedy was great. First of all, yeah, the whole show had loads of comedy in it. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. so funny, wasn't it? Really funny. Really funny. And it was nice to see a lot of the really big Hollywood celebrities, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, you say one of you, we're gonna beat cancer. You know, yeah, it was it was just nice to see them showing their support because you never you never see much of a human side to yeah. a lot of these sort of Hollywood actors and big names. So it's nice to see them there. I didn't actually watch it, but I heard Cheryl Cole mess up. That was so funny. Did you <laughs> see Cheryl Cole mess up? I didn't see this. Well, I missed it. <laughs> I think basically what, happened, what happened when she was like lip syncing but it was to her pre-recorded her pre-recorded vocals because she was dancing yeah they're playing it in the studio but for the broadcast they forgot to play it out so it messed up <laughs> and she's just there dancing <laughs> and you can see her going now does she do that because she can't sing or does she do that because well, you know that's what i gotta ask <laughs> what, what i'm saying is every time she has a public performance something goes wrong something goes wrong something her. always goes but, wrong is, Poor girl. You know, like, are they trying to throw her out a bit? You know? <laughs> Perhaps. Maybe Maybe she thinks it's too easy. This is she a wants a plot. challenge. <laughs> this is a big plot. Quit it's while you're show. Really? Quit. Yes. <laughs> I can't um, believe that. 
Moving on. It was so funny though, wasn't it? Right, it was, yeah, and I mean the amount they raised in the event as well. Six million. Staggering. Six million, and it was on for six hours. So ne- yes, nearly six m- hours. A million so. an hour. Just and they're still great. taking. I think they're still taking donations now. So go over to the Stand Up for Cancer website, and you can pay by card, I think, or you can still yeah. ring up and pay by phone. Hopefully they do it yearly. Hopefully, because it was quite much like comic relief, wasn't it? Yeah, it's similar. Stand, uh, children, and the Red Nose Day, and, you know, similar to all those events. Yeah. But I guess it had more of a sort of a yeah. single purpose. Yeah. Okay, so BC Radio's website. We've just set up our own website. If people are listening through, you already know this. And yeah, so head over to our website, bcradio.wix.com slash homepage. I'm sure on there and you can find that all That's right. a place where you can um, get involved in discussion and stuff next week, shout outs. You know, we want all of these people, we want all the listeners to give us shout outs and stuff. Let us know. You know, we'll, we'll facilitate that. And also, you're going to put in there what topics we're going to be talking about, are Yeah, we? what also, topics we're going to be talking about. Also, you can contribute to what topics you want us to talk about. You, know. you can write in, there's a button on the contact page that you press right it's a story so if you've got a story let us know if you want to be up for soundcloud artist of the week let us know your music we'll have a look at it and yeah yeah so, so yeah. and I mean, also another thing to talk about we have uh, at the media block we have the media academy three starting soon i think it starts n- after half term yeah on a wednesday isn't it? on a wednesday evening it is for everyone not just media students um to come over you know maybe get involved in radio with us or filming if that's what you want to do. And I think it's on from five till seven, and that's where you may see our radio spot get moved to, yep. which is quite cool. And also, you know, it's good if you've never ever, like, you know, done anything media related before, you know, you'd want to try it out, do come over. And through the Media Academy free as well, you can also, this is where you can join the show. This is where you can get involved, and it's outside of college hours. So if you've got dedication, come to Media Academy free, and this is when you can become a presenter. Or yeah. any other production. Anything you want to do, anything. Um, you can find the we're on Twitter. Um, it's at capital M capital A Academy Three. But you can th- find it. We will post a link up through the Bridgewater College Radio page for people to access it. So yeah, again, uh, we hope you enjoyed the show. This is probably our biggest show yet. As you can see, it went on for uh, we're hit twenty-seven half minutes. an hour, pretty Nearly. much. <laughs> which is crazy because that's our actually cut-off point as well. So, So, yeah, yeah, it's goodbye from me, Jake. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed the show. Bye. Bye. There you go. That went good today. Yeah. Well, that went really well, yeah. I have to say. Sorted. Right. I'm so cold. Let's turn off this fucking... We're in our dinner. 30 minutes. It's dinner now. We're missing dinner. Like bandits and thieves, we go stealing the night away. Write our own story and think of a plot for our